spotlight. I spend all my time telling you things and you forget them. The year is 1930. The country is in a depression and men unable to find jobs elsewhere head to California to work in the fields. What's your name? George Milton. What's yours? His name is Lenny Small. He's not much of a talker, is he? The director of the film is Gary Sinise. He was the star of The Grapes of Wrath on Broadway. John Malkovich co-stars. He won praise in Dangerous Liaisons and an Oscar nomination in Places in the Heart. Both recreate the roles of George and Lenny in this film version of John Steinbeck's powerful and seemingly timeless novel of Mice and Men. Yes, this has just been a story that I've loved for many years, 20 years or something. I saw it as a kid in high school and it affected me deeply, emotionally. It made me want to read books and I never cared about that at all. Since Steinbeck's book was published in 1937, many stage versions and two prior movies have been made of it. But Malkovich says the childlike character Lenny, who has captivated audiences for 55 years, has not been used up. The thing about a well-written story, it, it seems to me, is that uh, they're, they are essentially timeless because I, I don't think people change so much. How long is it going to be till we get to a little place and live off the fatted land? Got to get some money together first. Veteran actor Ray Walston and Sherilyn Fenn of Twin Peaks fame flesh out this story of hard times in the Golden State. Ironically, the California wheat fields of the 30s don't exist anymore. These had to be planted just for the movie. But Steinbeck's story remains intact and in light of our current economic troubles, as familiar as today's headlines.